Hi, I'm Dr. Brian David Phillips, and I'd like to welcome you to Brain Teasers! Now, alright, uh, you should be seeing me in a little boxy thing in the corner on the screen, and you see this big black space. It's a classic drawing of a ball of string and a kite. Now here's your challenge, oh young Padawan. Draw this kite and string. Freehand without taking your pen from the paper. So you need to draw uh, from the ball of string that's down here, you see the happy little ball, and you draw the string, and you draw the kite, and you draw the levels of the kite and the geometric shapes, and you draw the end of the string should end in the middle. You may not pick up your pen or pencil or finger of blood from the paper. Mm -hmm. Now I do not recommend that you first attempt this as a freehand drawing on human skin in the form of a tattoo. For you need some practice. Trust me, I suck. And you would not, and I practiced and you would not want a tattoo of what I come up with. So, get yourself a blank sheet of paper, throw that sucker down, pause this video so you can see the configuration, and turn your monitor off and draw that sucker. Once you've done that, turn your monitor back on, and compare what you did to what's here. Now go ahead and do that. All right, do that now. Dude, pause it. Okay, if you haven't paused, you suck. And I'm really getting upset with you. All right, I'm a hypnotist, so look into my eyes. Around my eyes, look into my eyes. Boom, you're hypnotized. Pause now. Oh, I'm sorry. I paused me. Okay, I'm assuming that you, my victim, have done your task and you've compared your piece and it's awesome because you're incredibly brilliant and it only took you 1, 2, 3, 10, 12, 1,372 tries to get it right. Now let me show you what I do. So first, I do a fun thing called turn off the layer so that I can play with my pen. So, oh, there it is. I have a little ball of string, and I have some fun that's about to occur. And so I take my pen. Okay, so we, we got my little ball guy. And now we're going to draw a string and a kite, a bunch of geometric shapes, and the end. Uh, so how do I do this? Uh, go to my ball of string. I'm over here at the ball of string. You see that? And then I, I just, from the ball of string, I need to go up into the air freehand in an almost perfectly not straight line. Yes. Uh, uh, oh, it's a box kite so, or, or a triangle, a diamond shape, so I need to do the outside of the kite first, all right? Because remember, you can't go back, you can't retrace afterward, and so I can go to this point, but I can't go further up. And from here, I can then go moving forward, and I, I want to get started on the outside of the geometric shapes there was some weird triangle type things that kind of moved down this way 
uh, and always connect but do not over trace and uh, there was one inside here I think I do indeed remember that a uh, bunch of triangle crappy guys here and there was a weird shape here uh, now this is where it gets weird because um, it's going to look like it makes sense after I do it but while you're doing it it looks like it makes no sense at all until I finish this little movement and then I'm gonna move up and I'm going to do something that the original doesn't have and that is I'm gonna tie this sucker up boom there it is I'm flying my kite, flying my kite. That kind of looks like a kite. Uh, this could have been done a little better right here, but it looks good enough. The points meet. It's fair. Uh, let's check that with the original, okay? Uh, this is freehand, so it's not quite up to standard. Uh, the original, there you go. You see boxes and triangles and shapes and diamonds and whatnot. And my version, my version looks more real, or less pretty, or less real and awfully ugly, for I am the master of oogly, and this is my oogly kite. Look at the original perfection. Somebody obviously had a ruler and could do that, and obviously knows how to draw uh, curved kitey lines and here's mine okay and I hope you enjoyed that um, play around now if you really did uh, trace this uh, you paused the video before you saw the solution and you you did your own version take the first one you did not the tenth one because you were cheating uh, and I know they're Dave, Bob, Henry, and yes, you, Jeff. And, oh, oh yeah, Carl. Carl actually did this more than everyone else. Um, and Cindy. Yes, yeah, she does that all the time. Everybody knows that about Cindy. And of course, you. Yeah, I'm watching you. Uh, some of you paused it. You tried it. You failed. You watched the rest of the video. Put the thing back to the pause part and did it after watching the solution and now you're going to tell your friends how awesome and brilliant you are because you did that so take the first one you did the one that sucked okay and uh, scan that sucker in and why don't you post it as a comment on my facebook page uh, facebook.com slash waking dreams that's the brian david phillips fan page post uh, post it uh, in the comments to this video up there um, we'll have different versions of this up there but we'll have the actual video up there so go ahead and do that it'll be awesome and if you really want to show off you can post uh, your best version okay uh, but uh, be that as it may I hope you have enjoyed the hypnotic kite of doom uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy my videos and uh, I strongly encourage you why don't you go ahead and uh, click subscribe to my YouTube channel click like on my Facebook and uh, oh heck join my webpage at BrianDavidPhillips.net and if you go to slash blog on there you can read all sorts of wonderful goodness until next time uh, this is uh, Dr. Brian David Phillips and Live, trance, and prosper. And oh, by the way, go to my website, look up the stuff on critical thinking, and you may find more logic puzzles and all sorts of neat stuff. And if you want to learn about critical thinking, well, I can teach you that too. I teach lots of stuff. I'm awesome. Go ahead and agree with me. Yes, he is. Live, trance, and prosper. Bye-bye. <laughs>